Thank you for watching Ebony Ladies in the DR. I am your host, Bridget. Gracias por ver las damas de Ebony's en el DRE. Yo soy tu Efigiona Bridget. So, hi everybody. Today I am talking about pesky little insects in the Dominican Republic. So, one of my friends told me that they're having a really big issue with ants. Um, so, this is what I say I feel like is ant season in Punta Cana. And I don't know if it's all the Dominican Republic I'm pretty sure it is but we have these little small ants and my my family is in town my dad was staying with us and I you know he didn't believe me I said if you put anything down leave crumbs anything ants will find that I don't care where it is on so my neighbor we, we were laughing because he put something high up on the refrigerator to eat later wrapped in plastic or whatever I don't know what the situation was he said he came back there were ants all over the top of his over the top of his refrigerator so they are super small um, and so last year we didn't really have an uh, issue with ants at all this year we've seen them come and go it's like as soon as I see one I start to spray I wipe everything down with the bleach uh, put towel you know bleach on the cleaning towels wipe rinse constantly spraying and cleaning because I don't care how clean you are um, here in the Caribbean and the islands I think this is something that goes with it um, but I think we have figured it out so we do it on a um, two or every two or three days I just go and I spray my baseboards I spray you know the the edge of the the uh, door frames because they they like to be around the door frames and then I make sure the pantry is super clean always dusting and cleaning the pantry um, nothing you can't really do the bags like potato chip bags and put clips things like that we do the potato chip bag put the clips and stick it in the refrigerator so you come into my house you're gonna be eating some cold chips that's just the way it go because I don't care how tight things are sealed if they even have a little bit of an opening you can see the ants in there and we you know the first time that that happened we were throwing away a whole lot of food and you know nobody wants to be throwing away money right so what you do is you roll the bags put the clips stick it in the refrigerator so that's how us from not eating too much junk food and opening up a whole bunch of different things because we have a little refrigerator y'all seen my refrigerator um, and so then we can't have a whole bunch of stuff in the refrigerator so we kind of just do our snacks and eat a little bit and stick in the refrigerator and that's helping us to stay fit and fine y'all know I'm working out trying to get my um, healthy weight back so I feel like I'm doing good but you know just to give you um, for expats that have just moved here because I've seen a lot of people commenting in the Facebook groups and other online social media platforms what is going on with these ants you know and that's what it is it's, I think it's a seasonal thing and unfortunately this year has seemed to be a little bit worse than other years but I really do I feel like we have ours under control so the best thing the spray I don't know I don't know the name of it I might have some up here I do have some up here. I'm going to show you the bottle. Pause. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so here it is. This is the best thing for ants. Bagon, best thing for ants. And you want to get the spray. Don't get aerosol, guys. Aerosol is just going to be going everywhere, and you're going to be wasting a whole bunch of money. Get the spray um, and spray it as needed. But make yourself a little routine. If you do it every few days during this time of the year, your ant problem will be gone and it's not just the kitchen you'll see the ants around the baseboards um, of the not the baseboards around the rim of the sinks in the bathroom I never see them on the floor of the bathroom I never see them on the wall of the bathroom always just around the ring of the sink so you go in get your bleach put it on towel wipe it clean then spray and I usually try to spray overnight so that way make sure we don't touch anything or you know get it on our hands or anything like that and for people like me with 
pets, um, I wait, I'll spray and then put Bella outside. You know, she'll go lay out. Y'all see Bella, she loves to sunbathe. So we'll kick her outside for an hour or so while the spray dries. But she's not that kind of dog that goes around licking baseboards and things like that. But in case you do have that kind of crazy pooch that does things like that, then just stick them outside, leave them out there for like an hour until the chemicals dry and you don't have to, you don't want, you won't have any worries. But that's what it is. It's that time of the year and I feel like it is ant season. And I'm here at my bridal shop and I had a little trail of ants. That's why I have the big on up here. Um, I sprayed no rhyme or reason. I don't know where they came from. I do eat up here, but I'm, you know, I'm really clean. I, I sweep up after I eat my lunch. I take the bag out, throw it away, everything I can. So it's just what happens. And I saw one by the front door, and I think it was from somebody eating in front of my shop, and there were some crumbs, and they just trail on. So you just have to keep all of your surroundings really, really clean and stay on top of spraying, and that's what it is. And I think the end season like is probably about another month or so, because I don't remember going into the spring, into the March, or even late February having these issues. So, uh, you know, that's what you have to do. So just be mindful um, and clean up after yourself. I mean, we all should know that. But you really do. This time of the year, you can't, you know, let anything go um, untouched. You want to make sure to just clean up and keep your house spotless. Um, and then it'll and just spray on a regular basis and it'll take care of the ants. So I had to do this episode really quick because uh, I'm waiting for a bride to come. Um, but it was on my mind, and someone just WhatsApped me and asked me, what's the name of the spray that you said worked and what was good? And so I thought I would go ahead and make this episode for all the people that are moving and the process of moving to the Dominican Republic and, you know, and see the ants and start to freak out because they do come. So it's just a matter of keeping everything really, really clean. So thank you for the question. I hope I answered it. I hope that that works for you. Um, guys, right here, Ebony Ladies in the DR every Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I just try to cover questions that you ask me. And there are going to be some really cool videos coming up. I say it all the time. And there are really cool videos coming up all the time. So if you have a question or a comment, if you're a new expat or you're an expat or in the planning stage and you have questions for me do not hesitate put them right there in the comment section i'll be happy to answer them um someone just said what about big bugs or cockroaches or snakes or any of that okay so last year i did see a snake in my garden it was a black snake it was like between my garden and the golf course um he was thin and it's so crazy because i since i've been living here in the Dominican Republic, I'm not as I'm not scared of anything. And so normally I would have been like shoom, flying, trying to run away from the snake. And I saw it and I was like, is that alive? It's a snake. And so I found the gardener and the gardener came and he I don't know what he did, chopped the head off, whatever. But he took care of it and disposed it. I never saw it again. Um, but he was like, it's harmless. You will see garden snakes. Um, but that's, I saw one last year. I haven't seen another one since. Bugs, big bugs will come um, because we've been doing real estate now. And so when we go to show properties, if it is um, a property that's been on the market for a long time and the listing agent didn't go in and clean up or they don't have anybody managing their property, then you may see bugs like roaches in the house. Um, it's just from, you know, no one being there and taking care of it. That's going to happen. So that leads me to promote myself as usual. Um, if you buy property here and you're going to just be sometime back and forth, and you don't want to Airbnb it or you don't want to, you know, rent it out long term, any of that, I would suggest a property manager like myself or someone else you find that is just to have someone to go into your house um, every week. 
because with the humidity and with the moisture in the air, you want your property to be opened up so that it can breathe. You want somebody there spraying, sweeping up bugs, um, spraying for ants, doing those kind of things just to maintain your property. So when you get there, you don't find a whole bunch of dead bugs in your kitchen and your bathrooms, that type of thing. So, you know, that's it. Um, I've never seen um, a snake or a rat or anything like that in the house. I've seen a, a rat on the golf course one day, not close to my house. Um, they said the cats keep them away. Shout out to the cats. Um, but I haven't seen any by my house or anything like that. Um, I see the, the rat traps um, around the perimeter sometimes of, of the clubhouse. And I think that's probably it. Sometimes I think some of the individual properties may put some by their trash cans. But that doesn't seem to be an issue in my area, which is really good. Uh, and I think that's it. So you know, we don't have a, a bug problem, a cockroach problem, or anything like that. Just ant season right now, it seems to be. But uh, there's someone in my office and they're like trying to whisper and tell me stuff. So I think we covered it all. I think we covered it all. Oh, mosquitoes and flies. Everybody know about mosquitoes and flies in the VR. So citronella, when my family comes and people always ask me, what can I bring or what do you need? I don't use a lot of the off um, for our house. If you, let me give you a tip. Living in the Caribbean, when it rains, as soon as it rains, get your mop, a dry mop, and get the water from around the perimeter of your house. Um, like your front porch, your back porch, dry up all of that water and that will um, decrease your chances of having a lot of mosquitoes like all of everybody in our community will come and sit on our patio on our back patio or sit in our garden area they're like y'all don't have mosquitoes we don't not like a lot of other people we might have one that likes to show his head and come and hang out but we don't have a mosquito problem so i never have mosquito bites on me I really don't, you know, and some people are attracted to them and they have them all the time, but I never do. But that's just one thing you have to remember is when it rains to keep your house free of mosquitoes is to dry up, mop up all the water off your front porch or back porch, get your screens, um, have screens put on all your windows. That is like the best investment ever is to have really good screens. And we have a screen door and screens on all our windows so we don't have to worry um but the incense um you can if you're in the u.s you can go to like any beauty supply any dollar store get the incense you want to do sandalwood and lavender um and get those and when we have company we just stick them in the ground if we're hanging out outside or if we're in the house we just put one in the house not only does it make your house smell good but it keeps mosquitoes away as well so you would think that things that help fight mosquitoes would be really, really cheap here. Um, not in Punta Cana. Um, like Centronella, they have the rings, which are really good. The rings really do help, but they burn really fast. So like a couple hours, you'll probably go through um, a two or three of them. Like I think one maybe lasts a little bit under an hour, um, but they're not the cheapest things. You know, they add up if you're using them a couple of times a day, every day. So I do the incense, the citronella candles, the big ones I got, you know, at um, Home Depot and Lowe's in the States. I brought some with me. They didn't really work. I think I just wasted a, a money on those, but you know, for some people they, they may work. Um, and flies. We don't have an issue with flies if you don't have food and stuff like that all around your house. Um, fly hasn't been a, flies haven't been an issue for me. Like maybe in some areas of Punta Cana where it's not um, as well maintained and cleaned, then of course wherever you see a whole lot of trash, you're going to see a whole lot of flies. Just that simple. So keep your houses and your area is clean as usual and you won't have these issues okay so that was the ant bug snake rat roach episode that i hope to not have to revisit um so i hope i gave you all the information and use bacon you can get it at jumbo llama i think we always buy the llama super llama is usually the cheapest for that spray 
but no aerosol do the spray people all right i think i covered it anything else drop it in the comment section don't forget to hit like subscribe and share and i will see you all next time until then go clean those counters get rid of those ants talk to you later